So here at the Chet Aquarium, we have two species of penguins. We have Magellanic penguins and Rockhopper penguins. Magellanic penguins, they are the bigger ones with the white C on their head and the white bands across the front. And then the Rockhoppers are the smaller ones with the little yellow tufted feathers. There's a Magellanic right here. And then we also have uh, some birds that look a little different. They're silvery gray. Those are our four Magellanic penguin chicks that were hatched out last year. So they will look silvery gray until they go through their first molt, which is a, when they're, all their old feathers come out and all their new feathers grow in when they're about a year old. So out in their natural habitat, Magellanic penguins are found along the coast of South America. Chile, Argentina, the Falkland Islands, and then the rockhoppers are found around the Falkland Islands as well. Some of them were hatched right here at our exhibit, and some of them came from other zoos and aquariums, so we have a variety. Well, it's a very busy day with the penguins. We usually will do at least two feeds out here on their exhibit, and then they'll have various other training sessions throughout the day. So they might go for penguin encounters or presentations or on field trips around the aquarium or outside of the aquarium. Um, just for enrichment, for welfare, for getting exercise and mental stimulation, we try to change up their day. Um, and then we also provide enrichment or different, could be toys, different things out on their exhibit to change up their environment as well. These penguins get a delicious restaurant quality diet of capelin and herring, primarily Primarily, we can give them a few other types here and there, but we make sure everything's restaurant quality and also sustainable because we don't want to take fish away from their counterparts in the wild to be able to feed our birds here. Right now we have about 30 pounds of capelin to feed the entire colony plus probably another 10 to 15 pounds of herring that we'll feed them throughout the day. The life of the penguin is very interesting. They have an ever-changing season. So right now we are going into breeding season. So what that means is the lights that you see above here is what triggers that nesting behavior and breeding behavior. So the penguins will choose a mate, choose a nest site, and then we'll put out nesting materials, so rocks, little hose pieces, and lavender for them to build their nest. And then we're usually we'll start seeing eggs laid soon. And not all eggs are fertile, and not all fertile eggs will develop into chicks, but we might have a, a small handful of chicks depending on the year. And then we will just monitor those eggs, see if they're fertile, monitor the chicks once they hatch out. We'll let the parents feed them, take care of them, but we just monitor them very closely to make sure that they're growing well. So a lot of people think penguins are only in the cold weather or in the snow and the ice, and there's actually 18 different species throughout the world, but they're all just found south of the equator in the southern hemisphere, and so they range anywhere from Antarctica all the way up to the Galapagos Islands, so in a, a warmer climate up there. What we would think of a personality, they do have very different characteristics and mannerisms. I try not to have favorites, but I do have some that I have a closer relationship with. So some of the ones that we hand raised um, when they came over as eggs, so a few of them I do have a closer relationship with, but all of them are like my children, but I love them all. It's really such a privilege to be able to work with them. They're, we have 36 penguins and they're all so different. Some of them are very interested in having attention from you. Some are more interested in doing their own thing or socializing with the other birds, but it's really cool to be able to see what we've been able to do with our training, relationship building, and just to make life better for these penguins and provide the best welfare possible. All the animals here are really ambassadors for their species. What we want to do is just spark with our guests, you know, that compassion, that curiosity, and that conservation, so it helps them love penguins, and then they look and see what can we do to help the penguins that are out in the wild. So that's really our goal, is to have these animals be ambassadors for those species.